I'm just wondering why the people of the world, they don't look about Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, as you know, Zimbabwe used to be the breadbasket of, of Africa. But, since 1980, things have gone wrong. The, these people who came into power since 1980, I'm talking about 1980 here, these people, they are all criminals. They just come in to loot. As I'm talking now in Zimbabwe, the kids are surviving on 50p a day. There's no medication for, for, for kids. There's no hospitals. All the roads which were which were there during the Smithy regime, they are all gone. People are suffering. I'm trying to appeal to the whole world to help Zimbabweans. Zimbabweans are all over the world now because of that. The country had about 16 million people. So half of the population are living abroad because of the terrible situation in the country. We tried everything, the people tried everything, including elections. But every time there's elections in Zimbabwe, people are being killed, people are being murdered for no reason, just because they are supporting the opposition parties. I'm just appealing to the whole world to look at, into Zimbabwe. The guy who is in charge right now, he, he grabbed that country by force. He didn't win the elections. He is not the leader of that country as I am talking now. But he is pretending to be a leader. But he is not. The population of Zimbabwe doesn't like him. That's why I am appealing to the people of the world to help Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwean people, they have been in trouble for, for a long time. That's why we are joining in. Please subscribe and share these videos. I'm going to say it all. The situation in Zimbabwe, someone, somewhere, is going to change. The people are dying in thousands because of this stupid government. He is not, he is not, as I am talking now, he is not allowed to go anywhere. But he does go sometimes somewhere, but he is on sanctions, as I am talking now. Please share and subscribe these videos, because I am going to carry on. I am not going to stop until Zimbabwe has got a new government. Thank you.